This is a assembly video for a Toro commercial three-speed transmission. Uh, I've taken this apart, put it back together a few times, so hopefully I'll get this right. Got everything kind of laid out in the assembly here. Also have the manual, kind of shows me where everything goes. And we're gonna be using that. So let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is take this shifter and shift yoke and I use some grease to kind of stick it together I think this will probably be the easiest way to do it and let me go on like that and now we're going to put the shift collar on I believe Thing we're gonna do. There we go. Let's put the next gear. Try not to drop it. It's a little bit slippery. I got everything greased up with the recommended uh, NG Li2 grease. That's what we're working with. Check my instructions. Good. I've actually got a washer already on there. Actually, looks like we have two. I recommend those in between the other side, so let's redo that. Take one for one side, one for the other. So I'm just taking that and that across. Looking over my camera trying to do this. So if it looks a little clumsy, that's why. side we got this this washer here and we have two smaller washers I had to clean up the shaft uh, it had some corrosion on it and it wouldn't let the bearings actually slide on it so it might some, something you might have to do there Focus. I think so. Slide a bearing over this way. Well, you know what? I think we need a washer here. Washer. Another bearing. And then on the end, we have the seals. Greased up. This thing focusing. No, we're not going as easy as I thought. Okay, they're spring loaded. I'll check something here on the camera. So fix the camera and 
Now we're putting the seals on. Make sure we can slide this over. All right, so springs. See if I can get those back around there. It's always the little things that you end up fighting with, I swear. Ha. Okay. These seals are basically little rubber seals with a spring that goes around inside, I guess, to hold tension on it. And that came out. So I'm going to slide that in there. There we go. And there's a little bit of play in here. I'm going to assume that that's okay. Sure. I might put another washer on this side on the final assembly. Take up that play. So I'm gonna put the other side on. Another seal. Some more grease. Focus. So you can see we got a seal, a bearing. So that's the. If you call that the rear assembly, gear shaft, drive shaft, whatever. So we got that piece done. Okay, next we're going to do the smaller shaft here. So I'm slide this pin in here. And then, so I can start with one side, I believe. No, I don't think we can. Two washers here. And the bearing. Then we need the large gear. Try not to drop it. The medium gear. It doesn't appear there's any washers between these. That bearing on the end. And then washer. And then a bearing. That's weird. What's going on here? Okay. Uh, there is some. Hmm. What's that? Looks like that. The 
next thing. What's this little shift yoke collar? Goes down in there. A plastic piece. Kind of angle it towards the shift yoke. Guess it would help if I would look at the uh, part and not the camera. Oh, here it goes. This is when I got to break out the precision tools, I guess. Shift yoke. Let's check the function. Freewheeling. Don't know exactly which gear is supposed to engage when yet, but appears we are functional. Okay. So the next thing will be the pulley shaft. I've already got that somewhat assembled. There is a snap ring on the top here. Just to focus. And then a washer on this side. And it all sits just keyed on this Woodruff key. You can't see it now. It's in the assembly. And there's another Woodruff key that goes on the top here. So we've got that washer. And that actually goes up through the top of the gear case. I believe there's a seal right here that's stuck in there, but I don't see it. Uh, see, I see it on the assembly, but I don't see a loose part anywhere. So. place another washer over there and it looks like from the wear it went face down I had to guess so that's good and you know what I'm just gonna grease that whole thing up come on focus so you never have too much grease Right, maybe. And I'm gonna have to pause for a second and hammer in this Woodruff key into this slot. These are kind of tricky to get out. I haven't worked with these before. In order to get this one out, I had to take a punch, uh, set this on my vise, and hammer one side down and all the way, follow it all the way around and out to where it was almost coming out like this if you can see that so a little bit tricky I'm look at this one set and then we should be close to done get that key hammered in like so and now we're going to put the pulley on Pulley. Oh, you know nope, look at the washer. Oh, I didn't hammer it in far enough, did I? Nope. Just gotta line it up right. Alright, help. Pull it down. I think. Oh, that needs some water. Some grease on there, and then we've got a washer on top, and then that. I need to take this back off and hammer that in a little bit better, but basic assembly. And then once you get 
transmission back together and fill with grease. You'll put your shift lever with this pin through the shift yoke, and you're done. And hopefully it'll work. So we're back the final stage and we're going to be putting the transmission back into the mower. I kind of want to show you like an exploded view here of what I think probably the easiest way to put it back in there. So you've got this snap ring, circlip, whatever you want to call it, and then a pretty thin washer, and then this washer, if you want to call it that. And then you've got the whole assembly here. And that's actually going to slide in from the outside of the mower onto the axle. And that's actually what holds it in the mower. And it's just a mirrored version on the other side. But I think it'd be easy to line these up, get them ready. And I'll show you in a minute. Basically, I'm going to pull these off, slide them in, and... It should be ready for mounting. Okay, let's try this side first. Put that on the inside. Very good on that side. Now we got the other side. I got this right. Just lift this up. Slide the hub on. Next thing you're going to do is take your snap ring pliers and get those snap rings move them onto the hubs to lock everything in place this little flap gets in the way I tried to knock it out from one side but it's pretty much welded onto this rubber it won't budge so Oh, of course I found out that the washer won't go down there unless you lower the whole thing. Cool. Snap rings, sir clips, Kaiser blade, I don't know. Okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What is, is there a bolt there? Shut up. Okay. Take two. Take two hundred. Go around that bolt. pliers that's an important step because you got to drop all your tools at least five times I mean are you really working if you're not dropping stuff so let's get these this is gonna be interesting I'm gonna pause before I cuss this thing out Okay. There we go. Okay. There's a bolt right here that you have to 
just sticking down just enough where you can't get the washer or the snap ring around it. So keep that in mind. Okay, here's the other side. This side's a little bit easier. I'll probably soon discover that I've done this whole thing backwards. It's according to the manual. Got this little flat washer here. And put on this clip here. And use this real high dollar tool, special tool. Got that from the Dollar Tree. Uh, you definitely need this precision instrument. And then next is this washer faced inward. It's got a little channel goes in like that. And then next is the gear with the woodruff key. Let's see how this works. Okay. I believe it should turn one direction but not the other. Yep. And then lastly, Him. Get some grease. Let's grease all this up a little bit. That's probably too much, but okay. lastly is another clip. This one's apparently not keyed. I'll have to double check that, but you want to look at the assembly. So I guess some are keyed, some are not. I don't know if it matters, but... We're gonna go... And you basically repeat the process on the other side with the rest of your parts. So I got everything mounted up, got the pulley on, have to do that, got it greased up. So I found out that the keyed washer actually goes on the outside because, come on, because that actually holds that woodruff key in. Uh, in line with everything on the gear. So earlier in the video I showed I put the keyed clip on the inside. You need to put that on the outside on both sides. Uh, the rest of the assembly is the same so I had to redo that. Also it's a very tight fit when trying to get these outer clips on or actually the inner clips on. So you get a pry bar or just something. Pry it one way or another when you're putting the second clip on. The first clip you can slide it and put it on the end but then the second one it's gonna you're gonna have to stretch it out so it's something to pry the transmission one way or the other and then that'll allow you to get the clip on 